Hello fellow problem solvers, so today we're going to be talking about number theory and we're going to start with a problem from Engels problem solving strategies, problem number one in number theory. I suggest you try to spell out for a minimum of five minutes, ideally 15, but not more than 25 minutes. If on the other hand you'd like to go along with us, take two minutes and try to prove this. And now let's begin. So we must prove that if a minus c divides this, then then a minus c divides this. Now how do we go about doing this first and foremost? What is divisibility? And I'm trying to like teach you some lessons in number theory now through problems. So if this divides this, that means there exists an integer x such that a minus c times x is a b plus c d. Great. What does it mean for a minus c to divide this? Well, it would mean that there exists an integer y such that y times a minus c is a d plus b c. Great. So now, this is ya minus yc is ad plus bc. Now, how can we transform these things here into these things here? That is basically what our question is. So, what can we do? And this is one way of thinking about this. Well, this is xa minus xc is ab plus cd. Hmm. Can we get rid of a, B somehow. What if we add or subtract something to maybe have A minus C on, on this side? Then we can move it here. Actually, you know what? Let's move A, B here. Then we have X, A minus X, C minus A, B is C, D. Okay? Now, how do I create A minus C? Well, it's going to be minus A, B. And I'm gonna to need to get B out, right? So I need to add minus BC, but minus minus, I need to add plus BC here, right? So all I get, I'll get X times A minus C minus B times A minus C is CD plus BC, right? So now from here, I get that X minus B times A minus C is equal to CD plus BC. And now look, I've gotten one of the things I need. And I may be able to now get y. You know, from here, from this x, I'll need to create a y. And now what did I do? I subtracted. So what I actually did here was I added, so what did I add? I added b my b c to both sides. So let me add, now what do I need? Add b c, let me add a d to both sides. A D and A D. That x minus b, a minus c, plus a d. Let's move this to the other side. Then we have a d minus c d is b c plus a d. And now again, I can factor this out, the d out, the d out, and I'll get d times a minus c here, a minus c. I factor those out, and I get a minus c times x minus b minus d is b c plus a d. Now for y equals this minus b minus d, we have y times a minus c is b c plus a d, which implies that a minus c divides b c plus a d. And now this is one method that you can like use. There's not really, there's not any big of a structure. It's just like I need to have this on this side, so I add it. I need to get rid of these on these sides, and the only way I can get rid of it is to incorporate it into this y times a minus c. And to do that, I move it on the other side. What do I need to incorporate into a minus c? Well, I need to add the thing I need to add to get this. And But there's a different way of solving this as well. And this is also looking at something else. It's looking at modular arithmetic. So a, b plus c, d is congruent to 0 modulo a minus c, correct? And we need to prove that a, d plus b, d, b, c is also 0, right? Now, this is equivalent to AB is congruent to negative CD modulo A minus C. And now I invite you to pause for two to five minutes and see if there's anything you can do with this. Well, the question is, how can I change this into something else? What is AB also congruent to modulo A minus C? Well, AB is congruent to CB, right? Modulo A minus C. And how is it that I know this? Actually, is it, yeah. That, why is it, why is this true? 
Well, this is true if and only if a is congruent to c, modulo a minus c. And now this is true because a minus c divides a minus c. And it's like you can work with modular arithmetic by multiplying stuff together to get new things. And now this means that, and similarly, if you multiply both sides by d, you'll get that dA is dc, or negative dA is negative dc, modulo a minus c. So then using these modulars, what you have is this is congruent to so. Actually, we can just do AB plus CD is congruent to CB plus, uh, plus CD, so it's plus DA, and then this is congruent to zero modulo A minus C because this is congruent to zero, so this is, and we're done. This solves our first number theory problem, and as always, thanks for problem solving.